Hi, good morning. Happy Friday. Um, for those of you who are joining in, today is March. I don't even know. March 27th. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Dawn. No, in all serious, today is March 27th. It's Friday. But today also is a very dear friend of mine's birthday. And so I would like to designate today's practice. So those of you who know or have ever met on, she's one of my dearest, dearest clients and friends. And today she is 93 years old. She is spending today alone in the hospital. Um, she just had a hip replacement. So um, I wanted to, des hi Ann, hi Susan, hi Brian, hi Nicole. I wanted to designate this practice today to on for her birthday. Um, all of us have faith. We have faith in something and someone, um, whether it be God, Hinduism, Jewish, whatever our faith is. So a lot of times I'll talk about God and I talk about things. So know this, that in our practice and in my words, take what you want, take what means something to you and leave the rest. So today <clears throat> I asked on, uh, I think it was like her 91st birthday. I've had the pleasure of knowing her for the last four years. And I asked her if she could be any age, what age would she be? If she could go back and be any age, what age would you be? And she said, after she thought about it, she said, I don't know. I think I, I, I want to be 90. I'm 90 today and I like being 90. I've enjoyed every journey and every step along the way. So that really touched my heart because at the time I was going to be 50 or nearing 50 and um, we get sad about growing older and being older. So I thought, huh, you know what? When I turn 50, I'm going to be blessed to be 50. So today she's 93 and she's touched somebody. If she's ever met you, she has touched your heart because she is a fabulous person. So as I read this today from a book that I've been reading from a friend, um, it's I've Been Thinking by Maria Shriver. So in this, this is Maria Shriver wrote on her birthday. And this quote by Marianne Williamson says, Good morning, Lindsay, says, As we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So, hi Sloan. So today, I want your light to shine. I want it to shine hope, faith, and love to that on who is spending her 93rd birthday all by herself. <clears throat> um, anyway, so we're gonna get started in a seated position on your mat. So find a comfortable seat, maybe on your sitting bones. If your hips are tight this morning, grab a pillow, grab a block, grab a blo book, grab something to sit on that'll lift you a little closer towards the clouds. Hi, Gina. Hi, Karen. So we all need three things in life. We need someone to love. We need something to do. And we need something to hope for. And we get stuck. We get stuck by listening to this <clears throat> inundated news that we're hearing every day by social media, by text. So what yoga is, yoga is a community. It's a community where we can escape, where we can come onto our own little rectangle and escape our phones, the world. And you can take that time to shine a light, shine a light in your own heart and your own soul. And us as a yoga community, it's a purpose. We live a purpose. We all gather to dream and to collaborate and to make this world a better place. 
So as you breathe hope and light into your body today, let's all start in a seated position. Come into a comfortable seat on your mat. Cross your legs, sukhasana legs if that feels comfortable. Softly shut your eyes. Take a big inhale in through your nose. Sit two inches taller and imagine that string is up there in heaven. It's in the clouds far above you. And it's drawing you closer. Exhale out through your mouth and let it go. Inhale in through your nose. Expand the ribs. Exhale out through your mouth and let it go. Pause at the bottom. Inhale in through your nose. Flood the lungs with your beautiful breath. Pause at the top. Open mouth, exhale and send love into your home. Sealing your lips and begin beginning to find that ujjayi pranayama breath matching your inhalations and your exhalations only through your nose if it's available. Maybe coming into mood your hands, a thumb to a finger, your palms up. Feel the rise of your chest. Feel the lungs fill with air. And you say, how do we find that stillness? How do we escape from the outside, from, from the mundane world? from the busyness. It starts with a practice of your breath. Allow your eyes to softly shut, sinking back. Unclench your teeth. Seal your lips. And allow your breath to rush through you. Feel your shoulders relax, matching your inhales and your exhales, making your way to a three to a five count, pausing at the top and at the bottom. As we remember today, March 27th, 2020, open your eyes, melt your hands in prayer hands. Press your thumbs into your third eye, just above your nose, our spiritual eye. And as I begin today's practice with a prayer of strength, with a prayer of hope, Father, would you please send strength to Annalie Kantner. Give her hope. I pray for the nurses and the doctors that care for her. Keep them all safe and healthy. Give her healing and bring her back to us with her family. Stronger than ever. Be with her, Father, spiritually, mentally, physically. And let her all know that we're sending love and prayers her way. Following your hands through to your heart. And as we set our intention for joy today, finding that joy through light on your mat, shine it into the world. Making this community, this world, a better place to live. Place your hands by your sides. Take a big inhale, send your right arm to the sky. Gently begin to lean over to the left side. And imagine your upper body is between two panes of glass. So elongate through the spine, feel the deep stretch coming through the right side body. Take a big inhale, 
Sweep the right hand down, reach your left arm to the sky. Simultaneously sink the left hip down. Keep reaching. Breathe into the left side of your ribs. Let it feed all the way down into the left side of your hip. And gently bring the left hand back down. Take a big inhale, reach tall. Look up to the sky. Take an exhale, twist to your right. Bring your right fingertips behind you. Take that left hand gently on the outside of the right leg somewhere. Making this a little more dynamic. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist to your left. One breath, sit two inches taller. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, twist left, stimulating our digestive system, waking up the liver, the intestines. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, twist left. Press that right shoulder blade all the way through to the right side of your pec. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist right and stay for two breaths. Gazing over your right shoulder. Gently <clears throat> tilt your right chin towards your right collarbone. Breathe into the left side of your neck. Let it spill down into the scapula. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, twist to your left. Left fingertips gently walk behind you. Left, right hand on the outside of that left leg somewhere. Inhale, twisting through the mid spine. Chin towards your left collarbone. Look down over your left shoulder. Breathe into the right side of your neck. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, hands float down by your sides. A little seated half sun salutations. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands follow through to your heart. Inhale, lift to the sky. Exhale, hands follow through to your heart. Two more times. Inhale, lift your beautiful heart. Shine brightly. Exhale, follow through to your heart. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, hands follow through to your heart. Flipping over into tabletop. So come onto all fours. Knees directly under the hips. Hands under the shoulders. Toes either curled under the toenail side, flat down. Coming into your nice, strong, sturdy tabletop. Take an inhale, drop your belly, look to the sky. Take an exhale, round it a lot into a cat. Feel each and every vertebra separate. Take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart, spread through your chest, your collarbone. Take an exhale, round it a lot. One more inhale, look to the sky. Exhale, round it out. Energetically press the mat away. Inhale, neutral spine. We're gonna to begin to light a little fire, a little fire into your core. Send your right leg to the back, spinal balance, left arm reaches out. Left bicep frames the ear. Your left hand is reaching out. All of your fingers spread wide as if we're reaching towards that beautiful Anali. Sending her love and light. Take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, inhale. Exhale, shh. inhale, exhale, shh. 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 inhale long, exhale, hand in the knee, come back down, switching to the other side, slide the opposite leg back, opposite arm reaches out, keep lengthening and stretching. Find strength in the length of your body from your fingertips to your heel, diagonally crossing through the body. Take a big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Shh. Build fire. Shh. 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 Navel the spine. Four more. Three more. Shh. Shh. Last one. Shh. Exhale, set it back down. 
Take a big inhale. Shift your right hip towards the right corner of the mat. Simultaneously press your hands to the left corner of your mat. Drop the head. Take an inhale, come back. Take an exhale, left hip to the left corner of your mat. Reach your right fingertips and energetically press the mat away. Feel the lengthening in the side body. Inhale, come back center. Curl your toes. Come into your first down dog of your practice. Oh, bend the knees a lot or a little. Notice the tightness in the back of the legs. Spread all 10 of your fingers. Find that lengthening in the back of the neck. Keep drawing the crown of the head down towards the mat. Bend the knees a lot or a little. How tight are the back of your legs this morning? Create space. And slowly, gently begin to walk yourself to the top of the mat. One beautiful step at a time. Bring your feet hip width or the width of your mat. Come into a nice little rag doll here. Interlace elbows. Shifting the weight into the balls of your feet. Feel your breath. Run up the back of your legs. Feel it spill down the spine and rush into the crown of your head. And gently, gently begin to release the hands, rolling yourself up one vertebra at a time. And the head's going to come last. Take an inhale, reach to the sky. Interlace your hands in steeple fingers. So all of your fingers, except the pointer fingers, point them towards the heaven, towards the sky. Gently lean back. Come back center. Keeping that body in between the two panes of glass. Begin to lean over in a little standing half moon to the right side of the room. Breathe into the left side of your rib cage. Lean two centimeters further. Inhale, come back center. Take an exhale, lean to your left. Right hip pushes away. Make that beautiful half moon shape with the side of your body. Feel the intercostals that lie in between each rib on the right side. Feel them separate. Inhale, come back center. Cactus, bend your elbows, send your heart forward. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands follow through to your heart. Arms by your sides in mountain pose. With your right arm, sweep it to the sky. Make a giant circle as if you're tracing a circle. Right hand comes down by your side. Left arm reaches out and up to the sky. Bring it all the way around into the front of the body. Right arm lift up. Sweep it all the way around. Make that giant circle. Inhale, reach left. Circle it around. Inhale, right. Inhale, left. Inhale, right. Inhale, left. Just rotating the humerus in the ball and socket, the shoulder joint. Last time, one more each side. Sweep left. Inhale, reach both arms to the sky. Melt your hands, follow them through to your heart. <clears throat> We're going to begin today's practice. Building a little heat in the body with some standing poses before we go down onto the mat. So a little more ballistic movement before we go into those static stretches. Take an inhale, sit to chair pose, Ukatasana. And you're like, really? I thought this was gentle yoga. Lift all ten of your toes towards your face. 
Arms can reach towards the horizon. Arms can extend and reach overhead. Belly plugs in, hips sink down, chest is tall and proud. Hands, <clears throat> perhaps heart center. Lift all 10 of your beautiful toes towards your face. Keep shifting the hips back. Come back to mountain pose, stand tall. Breathe, lift all 10 of your toes. Gently kiss them down onto your mat as if you're sinking them into the sand. Inhale, sit to chair pose, Ukatasana, sink it down like a thunderbolt. Begin to wake up the legs, the quads, the core, the glutes. Stay for two more breaths, taking it to your edge. Breathe light into your body. Breathe love into the community. Breathe hope into your soul. Stand back to mountain pose, hands come heart center. Lift all 10 of your toes. Spread them as wide as you can. Gently. Kissing one down to the mat at a time. Close your eyes and be grounded. Mountain pose is grounding through the feet, root down into the mat, into the earth, and allow the earth to receive you today. Last chair pose, Ukatasana. Inhale, sink back, sink lower than the last two times. You have two more breaths. You have one more breath. Uh, hands come heart center, arms by your sides, strong mountain, root into the earth. Receive the earth through the bottom of your feet. Let it run through your body and spill out the crown of your head. All the way shifting into your right foot. Lift that left knee into your chest. Give it a little hug. Still imagining the string on the top of your head growing you taller. Leave the legs still, place the hands on your hips, feel your hip bones. Gently slide that left foot to the back of the mat, coming into a high lunge, imagining yourself on a set of railroad ties. So <clears throat> that distance of my hips, the distance of my feet, a subtle tuck of the hips under, a little slight bend in the back left leg. Left heel drawing down, shifting onto the ball of your left foot. Hands can remain on the hips. Hands can extend and reach up into high lunge. It's really your preference, it's your practice. It's where your light will shine today. Breathe your hands into your heart. Step to the top of the mat, your left foot meets your right. Hands on your hips. Begin to lift the right leg, root into the left foot, right knee into your chest, elongate through the spine, subtle tuck of your chin, the head back. Keep pulling and using the strength of your leg, your hip flexor, your psoas, arms, hands on the hips, right knee stays drawn in and gently slide it to the back of the mat, coming into a high lunge on this side. Bending into the left knee, high on the ball of the right foot, right heel draws down, <clears throat> adding that little stretch to the front of the right thigh, feeding into the hip flexor, the psoas. Option to lift the arms. Palms face one another, belly hugs in, Slight tuck of the hip under. Push into the left heel. Lift all five of your left toes. Gently relax them down. What happened to your breath? Smile, it's Friday. Place your hands on your hips. Slide to the top of the mat. Your right foot meets your left. Inhale, lift tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up. Slide your left foot all the way to the back of the mat. 
Coming into a little low runner's lunge here. Drop the left knee. Relax the toenail side of your left foot. Now is the time if you need a little towel to slide it underneath of the knee. You can even roll up the mat and <clears throat> kneel on the mat to add a little cushion to that knee, especially if you've had knee replacements or bad knees. Bring both hands on top of your right thigh. The right heel draws back, the left knee draws forward as if we're wrinkling the center of our mat. When you're ready, reach both arms to the sky. Begin to spread your wings to the right. Your left fingertips reach out towards the front of the room. Your right arm is going to wrap behind your back and touch the left side of your hip. Take your left hand outside of the right thigh. This is similar to our little seated twist we did in the beginning. Take an inhale, gaze over your right shoulder, <clears throat> simultaneously press into the outside of your right leg. Feel that left scapula reach through to the front side of your chest on the left side. Feel that external opening of the right shoulder. Gently releasing, come back center. Hands come down top of the mat, either side of the right foot. Coming into a little single leg split here. Walk the hands back, come on to the right heel right toes towards your face. Inhale, lift your chest, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Stay for two more breaths. Breathe into the back of the right hamstring. Lifting the chest, the heart. Avoid collapsing and rounding at the thoracic spine and the mid spine, leading with our tummy. And gently shift the weight back into the right foot. Leave your left hand on the mat, right arm reaches to the sky. Option to stay here or lift the left knee off the mat, making it a little more active. Right hand comes down. Place your right hand on your right hip. Reach your left arm and begin to come back to high lunge. We've been here. Hands can stay on the hips. Right arm can come up and frame the left palm. into your first warrior two. Drop your left foot parallel to the back of the mat. Right fingertips reach out. Roll the shoulder blades down towards your back pocket. Bend into the right knee. Now look, you're in the presence of your own home. You're in this little magic carpet. Your little rectangle. So do a little check and balances here. Your right heel lines up with the arch of your left foot or your right heel lines up with your left heel. It really depends on your hips. If I were to hang a string on my wrist, they would hit my ankles. Gaze over your right middle finger. Squeeze the inside of your left thigh. Let it trace down the outside of your left foot to the knife edge of your left foot. Right knee hugs towards the right middle toe, strong like a warrior. Nice, easy side angle. Right arm on your right thigh. Left arm reaches to the heavens. Come back to warrior two. Place your hands on your hips. Pick up your right toes and come to a wide forward fold. Left side of your mat. Breathe into the inside of your leg. Crown of the head spills down. Take an inhale, flat back. Walk your hands to low lunge, top of the mat. Pivot all 10 of your toes around, they face the top. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, half lift, flatten the back. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, root to rise, grow tall. Exhale, hands come through to your heart. Samasiti. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift that beautiful heart. Slide your right foot to the back of the mat. 
Coming into a low lunge on this side. Right knee drops. Take that time to stick that towel, the blanket underneath of the right knee. Add whatever cushion, whatever comfort you need. Being kind and nice to our bodies. Tent the fingers. Imagining there's a cupcake underneath of your hands, if blocks, books, a bottle's available to lift you up a little higher. Breathe into the front of the right thigh, feeding into the hip flexor. Hugging the left thigh into the midline. Bring both hands on top of the left thigh. Pull in through your low belly, protecting the spine. Take an inhale, reach up. Take an exhale, twist to your left. Now maybe you can see better on this side. Left hand wraps behind you, palm opens and reaches for the right hip. Right hand outside of the left thigh. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, get gaze over your left shoulder. Gently pressing, pulling that left thigh into the midline, that push-pull. Left thigh, the outside of it draws into the right hand, right hand into the outside of the left thigh. Feel that right scapula, the shoulder blade, press through to your chest. Look over your left shoulder. One more breath. Inhale, come back center, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, tenting the fingers or using blocks. Exhale, weight shifts back. Left toes pull towards your face. Shifting on to the left heel. Stay for two more breaths. Inhaling, the chest lifts, the tummy press down. Create space in the back of the left hamstring, the back of the left thigh. Stay for one more breath. And gently the weight walks back into the left foot. Allow the dust to settle into the right left hip. Right hand stays on the mat. Easy twist, left arm reaches up. Option to curl the right toes, make it a little more active. Right knee peels off the mat. Left hand comes back down. Left hand on your left hip, begin to reach up, coming into that high lunge crescent pose. Perhaps left hand coming up to meet and face the right, coming into that high lunge crescent pose. Coming into your warrior two on this side, right foot parallel to the back of the mat, bend into the left leg. Settle into it. Left hand, right arm reaches out, spreading like a T. Roll the shoulder blades down. Sink more into the left leg, head directly under the hips. Avoid collapsing into the left quad. Press down onto the knife edge of your right foot. Gaze over your left middle finger. Left knee hovering towards the left middle toe. Your left big toe is visible. Feel the adductor, the inner part of your left thigh. Strong like a warrior. A nice easy side angle. Left arm on the left thigh. Your right arm reaches to the sky, to the heavens. Finding a fire, a light in your soul today. Come back to warrior two. Put your hands on your hips, pick up your left toes. Face them to the right side of your mat. Coming to a nice wide forward fold. Option this time to interlace the hands, reaching them back, stretching through your chest, your shoulders. Subtle tuck of your chin towards your chest. Option to grab a hold of the ankles. 
shake your head back and forth. Yes, no. Get rid of the debris. Get rid of the false judgment. Make room for the light in your soul. Inhale, half lift, flatten the back. Walk yourself, all 10 of the toes back to the top of the mat. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Drop your knees. With ease, with control, lower yourself all the way to your belly on the mat. Hands by the chest. Relax the toenail side of your feet. Take an inhale, come to a little cobra. Lift your ribs off the mat, your chest, and bite the shoulder blades down towards the sacrum. Exhale, chin to the mat. Inhale, little cobra, peel up. Exhale, chin to the mat. Coming into Sphinx Pose, come onto your forearms. All 10 of your fingers spread wide. Press into the forearms, spread through your chest, your heart. Keep feeling the shoulder blades roll down the back. Begin to put a bend in your right leg. Reach back with your right hand and perhaps grab your right foot if available. Draw your right heel towards the outside of your right hip, feeling the <clears throat> A nice juicy stretch in the front of the quadricep, your right thigh. Remembering that less is more. Breathe into your uncomfortably comfortable, where you feel the tug and the pull. Perhaps not even just in the muscle today. Maybe the tug, the pull is in the mind. Gently begin to release, right hand down, lower all the way back to your nose to the mat. Take an inhale, lift up. Stay for the exhale, put a bend in the left leg, shifting the weight into the right forearm. Reach back and grab the left foot, left heel towards the outside of the left hip. Square the shoulders off, so avoid rotating and lifting. <clears throat> Square the shoulders off. Feel the stretch, the difference from your right quadricep to your left quadricep, the front of the left leg. And gently releasing. Come up onto your hands and press yourself back into child's pose. The knees, the width of the mat, toes kiss, forearms relax, the forehead drops down, rooting the hips back towards the heels, any discomfort in the low back, option to bring the legs all the way together and let your tummy spill over top of your thighs supporting the spine. Any discomfort in the knees, if you have bad knees or <clears throat> Knee replacements come up more into puppy pose. <sighs> Lifting the hips off the heels. Take a few breaths to settle into it, to breathe into it. And let this child's pose be grounding. Who am I? Why am I here? And what is my purpose? If you already know the answers to those three questions, you, my friend, are truly blessed. The majority of us are still searching. Who am I? Why am I here? And what is my purpose? Keep searching. Each and every one of us are made uniquely, authentically, and we each have a purpose. God has a reason why he put you here. Never stop searching. 
Never stop loving. Never stop hoping. Never stop believing. Never stop trusting. Enjoy the journey, every step along the way. As my dear friend Ann would say, take time to smell the flowers. Slowly begin to bring yourself back up. We're gonna come back onto our sitting bones, coming into staff pose, legs extended straight out in front of you. <clears throat> if your hips are tight, and this is an uncomfortable position for you to sit in without elongating the spine. So if you're here in a seated position, maybe place that blanket, that book, that block, something underneath of, <clears throat> of the hips so that you can imagine that your back is flush up against a wall. <clears throat> if you're collapsing at the upper body and sitting up in this <clears throat> natural position is not natural for you, Give your body the little extra love that it needs today. Take that time to get there. This is a gentle yoga. We're not in a hurry. We're not in a rush because life already sends us there, right? Sit tall, place your hands on your hips. Take a big inhale. Squeeze the top of your thighs. Pull your toes towards your face and dorsi flexion and begin to lift and float the heels off the mat. Take an inhale, sit tall. Take an exhale, let the heels float down, relax, bend the knees a lot or a little. Walk your hands towards the feet. If available, grab a hold of the feet. The goal is, in this seated fold, is to avoid the ears coming up, the ears, the shoulders coming up into the ears. Avoid rounding at the upper back, hard on the back and the spine. So keep the spine long, lead with your tummy and your chest and go to your edge, remembering that less is more. Breathe into the back of the legs, the tightness, the stiffness, the rich strengths there. And gently bring yourself back up, coming into a little seated tree right foot inside of your left thigh. <clears throat> Square your body off to the left leg. Begin to walk yourself down, isolating just that one leg, breathing into the back of your left hamstring. And gently begin to walk yourself back up. <clears throat> Draw that right knee into your body. Step, <clears throat> keeping a bend in your right leg. Step your right foot over your left thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Draw that right leg into the body. Grab a hold of it with the left arm. So wrap that left arm around the right thigh. Sit tall through the spine. Place the right hand behind you. Inhale, sit up taller. Stay for another breath. Option if <clears throat> available, left hand reaches to the sky, adding that thoracic spine, wrapping the left arm outside of the right thigh. Avoid collapsing at the body to get there. Keep the spine long. Feel the right side of the rib cage wrap around to the left as if you're wringing out your waist like a washcloth. And gently come back center. <clears throat> Drag that right thigh all the way across your left thigh. Take your right hand and reach towards the outside of your left foot. This is our IT band, the iliotibial band, that runs down the outside of our left leg. It ties in at the hip, it runs all the way down the outside of the leg and ties it into the knee. So well, <clears throat> most times, the discomfort maybe that you feel in your knee or your back could come from that point of insertion from the iliotibial band. It's a band that's meant to be tight, but it can become over tight and lead to injury, lead to back pain, to knee pain. 
and gently begin to walk yourself back up. We're gonna come into eagle legs and I'm gonna have you twisted like a pretzel, but a bend in the left leg. So the left heel is coming under the right glute. <clears throat> your right thigh is crossed on top of your left thigh. You're in eagle leg sitting. Grab a hold of your feet. Take an inhale, sit tall. Take an exhale, lean forward. Feel what kind of juiciness is going on in the right hip. And gently begin to bring yourself back up. Cactus, bend the elbows. Wrap the right arm under the left arm and maybe give yourself a great big hug, grabbing a hold of the shoulders. If available, coming into eagle arms. Take whatever option works for your body. Take an inhale, arm slide close to the face. Take an exhale, bend it over. Like that little puzzle, your arms fit nicely on top of your right thigh. And you're like, I don't even know what leg I'm on because I'm so twisted up. Breathe. Remembering how yoga begins is through your breath. How it ends is through your breath. This stimulates the lymphatic system, the lymph nodes in our upper back. Feel the scapulas pull off. Take an inhale, release, reach to the sky. Place your hands down on the mat and then twist this pretzel where we began. Right leg to the top of the mat, the left out to meet it. Sit nice and tall. Give your legs a little jiggle. Tell them thanks, because you gotta do the other side. <clears throat> Sit nice and tall. Draw that left foot inside of your right thigh, seated tree. Square yourself off to the front right leg. Begin to walk yourself down leading with your tummy, the heart and the chest stays lifted. If it's available, reach and grab the right foot. Remembering the goal is to feel the tug, the release in the back of your right leg. Avoid sharp shooting pain, discomfort in the low back. Remembering <clears throat> that when a muscle's tight, it can lead to pain in its point of insertion. So the hamstring, inserts into the glute. The glutes all tie into the low back. The IT band, it runs down the outside, ties into the knee. So a lot of times the aches and the pains in our body are coming from the tight, the sore muscles. And maybe we've all been working out a little more than usual. Maybe we've all been sitting a little more than usual. All our circumstances are different because we're all unique. Gently begin to walk your hands back up. Fold that left knee in like a book. <clears throat> Hug it into the body. Gently begin to rotate towards your left leg, the bent leg. Left hand comes behind you. Take the crease of that right arm. Wrap it around that left leg ever so gently and tightly. Inhale, lengthen. Simultaneously hugging the left leg into the body. Notice restraints or restrictions in the left hip, the left thigh, the left glute. <clears throat> if you did so on the other side, right arm reaches up. Wrapping that right tricep around the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, sit taller, sit prouder. You are enough. Who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose? Gently coming back center. The right foot, I'm sorry, left foot steps over the right thigh. Left hand reaches to the sky. So the opposite hand <clears throat> grabs the outside of that right foot. Breathe into the outside of that right thigh. The iliotibial band on this side. Lead with your tummy, lift through your heart. Gaze towards your toes. Breathe into the difference between your right and left side. And gently begin to walk yourself back up, folding yourself back up like that pretzel. Keep a bend in the left leg. Bend at the right knee, <clears throat> the right heel under your left glute. Crossing the legs, grab a hold of both of your feet. Inhale, tuck them in tight to the body, sit up tall. 
exhale, hinge forward. And maybe it's only two centimeters. Maybe it's <clears throat> a lot or a little, but breathe into your body, your unique self. Breathe into the left hip. Gently bring the spine back tall and long, arms out to the side. Left arm wraps under the right arm. Give yourself a great big hug because you are enough. Who am I? Why am I here? And what is my purpose? If available, coming into eagle arms, but just an option, not mandatory. Nothing in yoga is mandatory. It's what feels right in your body. Take an inhale, arms lift closer towards your face, hands towards the sky. <clears throat> if staying wrapped around your back, keep them there. Keep hugging and leaning forward. If in eagle arms, those arms fit like that nice puzzle piece on top of the left thigh. Subtle tuck of your chin towards the chest. Feel the scapulas lift off. Feel the strengthening in your upper back. Feel the release. Take an inhale, reach up, release your wings. Exhale, hands come down. Left leg reaches out, keeping a nice bend in the knees. Right leg reaches out to meet it. Melt the soles of your feet together in butterfly legs. Two options here. <clears throat> if looking for more of an adductor stretch, an inner thigh stretch, the soles of the feet, your heels sli slide close to your groin. Sit up nice and tall, hinging yourself forward and thinking about what I talked about, I think it was, <clears throat> it was on Wednesday, moving through the muscle instead of the joint, thinking of our joint as a plastic bag. So if we move through the joint, the joints like that plastic bag, if you stretch a plastic bag, it's not going to go back together ever again the same. If we move through the muscle, it is like a rubber band. So that rubber band lengthens, that muscle lengthens, and then it softly goes back to its original state. Option two is to slide the legs far away from you, 18 to 20 inches, and now you can round the spine a lot like a cat. Spill the crown of the head down into your feet and feel each and every vertebra in the back begin to separate and create space and length and relaxation. Whichever works for your body, Whichever is unique in you today, breathe into it. Slowly begin to walk yourself back up, closing your knees like a book. We're gonna come down onto our backs for the remainder of our practice. So come down onto your backs gently bringing with you what you need. If you need that pillow of lock, come down onto your backs. Take your feet hip width. Knees are bent, arms parallel to your side. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left thigh. Take your right hand, gently press it on the inside of the right leg, the right thigh, by the knee. Stay here, option to reach in and up, recline, modified pigeon. Grab the left leg if it's available, breathing deeper into the right hip. Flex through your right toes, protect the ligaments, the tendons, and the right knee. love and joy into your heart, sending it to on as she spends her birthday alone, but knowing through our Heavenly Father that our energy and our love we send her way. And gently hug it a little tighter releasing 
left foot comes down, right leg uncrosses. <clears throat> Just let him swish from side to side, open and close. Cross that left ankle over your right thigh. <clears throat> Just above the knee. Take your left hand, gently give it a little tug, a little pull, a little push. If this is enough, stay. If looking for a little more, begin to lift your right foot, reach in and grab that right leg somewhere, perhaps under the right thigh, wrap them around the right shin, flex through your left toes, avoid collapsing to the left side of your mat, so that little subtle shift of your hips. Breathe into the left hip, the left glute. Who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose? Slowly begin to release, unhook the left, take your feet the width of the mat, like little windshield wipers, let them swish from side to side. Let them relax over to the right side, gaze over your left shoulder, left palm to the sky, because I am enough. your time to enjoy the journey. Every stage in your life, gently come back center, the legs swish to the other side, the gaze goes over your opposite shoulder, your palms rotate up, your knuckles rest on the floor. Gently come back center. Pull both knees into your chest. Give yourself a giant hug. Take an inhale. Lift your nose up in between your knees if available. Take an exhale. Gently relax them back down. And find your Shavasana, your dreamer's pose. Never stop dreaming. Never stop trusting. Never stop having faith, hope and love. Take time to smell the roses. For every step along the way is your unique journey, your journey that will get you to who you are, why you're here, and what is your purpose. My friend, it is hidden deep inside each and one of us. It's a treasure, it's a jewel that each of you have. Allow it to shine bright in you today. Allow it to illuminate into the world and into the room. Building this community that we call yoga This practice of our breath. Today, this practice of joy and love. If you wish to stay a little longer, give yourself that time, give yourself permission. As we melt our hands in prayer hands, bringing our thumbs to our third eye, whether you want to come to a seat or stay a little longer, my Heavenly Father, may you bring strength, hope, peace, and 
love to on today. May you know, may she know, that she has touched our hearts just like she touched ours. Let her feel us through you and spill love into her heart. May it bring a smile to her face. Follow your hands through to your heart. The light in each and every one of you truly is the light of me. Shante, Shante, Shante. And we all say together, Namaste. If you wish to stay, stay. Give yourself permission to just breathe because that's how yoga began. Thousands and thousands of years ago in ancient times in India, it's a practice of meditation, a practice of our breath. May you take that time for yourself because it truly will complete you. I've never stepped onto my yoga mat and taken a practice and regretted my practice. I've always walked away from it better, fuller, more alive. May today you feel alive and you shine light into the world. I love you so very much. Have a wonderful, blessed day and happy birthday, Annalie Cannon.